one way of connecting with the energies of the natural world, and by extension, the entire universe, is in relationship with the four elements. The recognition of elemental states of matter has been around since the ancient Greeks, and versions of the concept appear in a number of cultures with ancient lineages. In Wicca and other pagan belief systems, the elements are seen as fundamental aspects of divine energy, each containing qualities that manifest in our personalities and our way of being in the world. They are an important component of the Wiccan ritual, where each element is represented in the tangible forms of colors, tools, natural objects, instruments and herbs, and the intangible forms of the four cardinal directions, the four seasons, particular deities, and, often, astrological signs. Working with the elements can help increase certain desired energies and experiences such as love and abundance, and can help balance unwanted experiences rooted in the negative qualities inherent in personalities. Let's take a look at the four elements, in turn. Earth The Earth is the center of our human universe, providing us the foundation of life and keeping us literally grounded through its gravitational pull. It's the source of all sustaining plant and animal life that provide nourishment and healing. It can cause physical death and destruction through earthquakes, mudslides, and avalanches. The Earth is physically represented by many of its topographical features, such as rocks, soil, caves, fields, forests, and gardens. The element of earth is associated with strength, abundance, and prosperity, and is represented by the colors green, yellow, brown, and black. Earth's energy is feminine and receptive. Positive qualities associated with earth are stability, responsibility, respect, and endurance, while negative qualities include stubbornness and rigidity. The earth's cardinal direction is north, and its season is winter. Air air is the invisible element. Its presence is only seen in the effects it has on other matter, leaves fluttering in the breeze, the movement of the clouds. Although it can't be seen itself, it can be felt all around us, which may be why it's associated with the mind, the intellect, communication, and divination. It's also associated with sky, wind, mountaintops, and birds, and is represented in yellow, white, and silver among other colors, air is essential for life as it carries oxygen, and it contributes to abundance by carrying and spreading seeds to new places where they can sprout. It also participates in the destructive force of life with storms and frigid wind. It is masculine, projective energy. Positive personal qualities associated with air energy include intelligence, inspiration, and optimism. Negative qualities include gossip and forgetfulness. Air's cardinal direction is east, and its season is spring. Fire the awesome, destructive potential of fire is probably most striking in the seasonal wildfires that burn millions of acres of forest around the world, and can actually jump over rivers and roads to resume their spread on the other side. Lightning can also be deadly, as can extreme heat. Of course, fire is also life-sustaining, used for cooking and lighting for over 100,000 years. The element of fire is associated with the sun, sunlight, stars, deserts, and volcanoes. It is represented with red, gold, crimson, orange, and white, and is a masculine, projective energy. Fire is the element of transformation, illumination, health, and strength. Its positive qualities promote love, passion, enthusiasm, courage, and leadership. Negative qualities include hate, jealousy, fear, anger, and conflict. Its season is summer, and the south is its cardinal direction. Water water is essential for life on earth and is present in all life. It established forms in the earth such as lakes and rivers by following the path of least resistance and can wear away solid rock over time. It is associated with all of its visible physical manifestations, such as streams, springs, oceans, the rain, and the moon, which exerts its own gravitational pull on water's most massive forms. Its destructive forces manifest in severe rainstorms, floods, whirlpools, and riptides. Its elemental energy is associated with emotions, healing, dreams, psychic clairvoyance and the subconscious. Water is receptive, feminine, and represented by blue, green, indigo and black. Its positive qualities include compassion, forgiveness, and intuition. Negative. 
qualities are laziness, indifference, insecurity, and lack of control over emotions. Autumn is water's season, and its cardinal direction is west. The fifth element, spirit many Wiccan traditions recognize a fifth element which is referred to as ether, or, more commonly, spirit. This is the element present in all things, immaterial but essential for connection and balance between all other elements. It has been described as the binding force through which manifestation is made possible, as well as the divine intelligence of the all that spiritualists of many traditions seek connection with. Also known as Akasha, from the Sanskrit word for ether, which is found in Buddhism, Hinduism, and other religions, and is translated by some as inner space or open space. The fifth element is represented by the color white. Unlike the other elements, it has no gender, energy type, or cardinal direction. It has no season but is rather associated with the entire wheel of the year.